if else. Like most programming languages, Golang borrows several of its control flow syntax from the C family of languages. In Golang, we have the following conditional statements. The if statement executes some code if one condition is true. The if else statement executes some code if a condition is true and another code if that condition is false. The if else if else statement executes different codes for more than two conditions. The switch case statement selects one of many blocks of code to be executed. In this scenario, we start by creating a variable named name with the assigned value John in the Go programming language. Following this, we construct an if condition to check whether the value of name is equal to John. If the condition is met, meaning the value of name is indeed John, the program executes a print statement that outputs the message hello John. In the subsequent refinement of the code, an else statement has been incorporated to extend the conditional logic. If the value of the variable name is not equivalent to John, the program will seamlessly transition to the else block. Within this block, a print statement has been implemented to output the message hello, everyone. In the further refinement of the code, an additional else if statement has been introduced before the else block. This else if statement checks whether the value of the variable name is equal to David. If this condition is met, the program executes a specific code block, printing the message hello David. Let's run it if we see all the values are correct. In the context of Go programming, the if statement can be expressed using the if short statement construct, which allows for the declaration and evaluation of a variable in a single line. The len name function is used within the if short statement to dynamically determine the length of the name variable. If the length is greater than 5, the program prints name is very long. Otherwise, it prints name is too short. Exercises. Number one, declare a variable score and assign a value. Use an if-else statement to check if the score is greater than or equal to 60. Print pass if true, otherwise print fail. Number two, declare two variables, is sunny and temperature. Use nested if-else statements to check if it's sunny and if the temperature is greater than 25 degrees Celsius. Print appropriate messages. In addressing the first task, we commence by declaring a variable named score with a value of 75 in the Go programming language. Subsequently, a conditional statement is employed to evaluate whether the value of score is greater than or equal to 60. If this condition is met, the program executes a print statement, outputting the message pass. Otherwise, it prints fail. To address the second task, we initiate the process by declaring two variables in Go, is sunny with the Boolean value true and temperature with the numeric value 25. Following this, a conditional statement is crafted to evaluate whether it is sunny, is sunny is true, and, within this condition, further assesses if the temperature exceeds 25. Based on the evaluation, the program executes corresponding print statements. If is sunny is true and the temperature is greater than 25, the program prints, it's a hot and sunny day. If the temperature is less than or equal to 25, it prints it's sunny, but not very hot. Conversely, if is sunny is false, indicating a non-sunny day, the program prints it's not sunny today. Now it's time for us to print to see the results.